Hi, Dr. Wolf here. This is a quick VS Code tutorial on the benefit of workspaces. I had a subscriber ask, why use a workspace? So if you remember from my prior tutorial, I created a workspace by basically making a directory. So I'm going to do and go into my tutorials folder by doing change directory. I'm going to make a directory called my workspace tutorial. Okay, I'm going to go into that directory, as we saw before, and after I do that, I'm going to do code dot, and that establishes basically where my workspace for VS Code is going to be. Now, that's quick and easy. We can add files and such, but typically with a workspace, you're going to have multiple projects you're going to be working with at the same time. And every time you open up this workspace, you want to be able to access all of those projects for various purposes. It's very common as a web developer, you might be working on multiple sites. You want them all contained in maybe one workspace so they're easily accessible and to modify. So what we can do here is the first thing I like to do after making this workspace I just like to go up and do save workspace as and I'll keep the name the same and just keep save because what happens now is you get a configuration file, a JSON configuration file that's going to put past the folders that are going to be part of your workspace. You can add them here yourself if you wanted to and you'll notice you can click open workspace and what that'll do is it's going to actually open up any of the folders that are listed here in that JSON configuration. But what I'll do is file and I will add folder to workspace as a starting point. So if I say, okay, I want this here, this folder, hello world, Dr. Wolf, to be part of my workspace, I'll click add. And you're going to see, well, that's the example of the path that gets put in. And basically that says a location that's one level higher and look at this directory, hello world, Dr. Wolf. Now I can go and get stuff off of other servers or locations if I wanted to, uh, perhaps. So if I continue to go to file, open workspace from uh, folder again, or add folder to workspace, I mean. And let's say I go to my D drive in this case where I have other code on my computer. Let's say I go to my D drive and I want whatever I happen to have in this folder here added. I'm gonna click add. And now you'll see that the path to that goes and you'll see here, I now have this Metro mattress one added. And now this workspace again, I can close the project level folders. So you basically consider it several projects in one workspace that I might want to work with from time to time. And I close this and in all when I do this and make sure this config file gets saved, we'll close it and we'll open it back up again. And this is where it gets a little strange or confusing. You'll see that my workspace opens, but the actual project folders aren't there unless I go here and click open workspace. If I do that, now there's all of the project folders I've added to this workspace available to me to work with in my VS Code editor. <clears throat> I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please, please put the comments below or reach out to me directly. I hope you also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.